Hi. The Bobco Coursebook is a unique, dynamic, and powerful online learning tool. The purpose of this video is to help you harness that power in order to optimize your INFX 542 experience. Typically, Bob Boyko begins each module discussing more conceptual themes, and the videos then move into the tactical interface of the Oxygen software. I would recommend that you download the early videos of each module when those conceptual themes are discussed, or bookmark the Bobco course book on your smartphone so that you can listen to it, whether you're doing the dishes, walking the dog, on the bus to school, whatnot. I would typically listen to things once or twice, twice often, when I didn't get them. There's some heavy hitting concepts that float around this course. So once that's done, then you want to hunker down in front of your desktop or laptop and follow step by step as he walks you through the actual oxygen steps. And you can watch all the conceptual actions that he's been discussing unfurl themselves into the power of XML. Pretty amazing. The next important thing I would say to do is to form a study group. And this goes for whether you're a sync or async, don't matter. I really think that one of the most helpful things that got me through this course was meeting up with three friends from the course once a week. We would block out about four hours. We'd all arrive having watched the videos for the module and we'd begin to recap things that we didn't understand. Um, maybe revisiting some videos or utilizing the fantastic keyword index of the videos in order to revisit concepts from a few weeks back if need be. Um, and then we would just dive into the projects and exercises together. I can't tell you how helpful it is when learning XML to have multiple perspectives and many eyes on your work. Another really fabulous feature of the course book is the comments tab. At the top of each Bobco course book page, you'll notice that there's a comments tab in which um, previous students leave comments and help requests and answered help requests from past quarters. I would recommend even while reading the project and exercise descriptions to go through those comments simultaneously so that you get a sense of what's expected of you and you can have clarification of any instructions you don't understand. Any time that you're frustrated, you'll certainly find a way to get released from that gridlock within those comments. So go there first before hitting up a help request. That's about all I can think of right now. Um, but definitely enjoy the course. Put your ideas to friends of yours. Share your frustrations, your triumphs, and good luck.